All right, guys, we're going to read some emails and we'll get started. We'll be right back. It's getting ready.
Let's see. I'm sure you guys have probably read this already, but I'll, I'll read it aloud. Um, this is Jeff Keighley. He's the Ludens fan. He collects all the Ludens figurines. He says, you're the best, Sam. Um, you've brought me something one of a kind of Ludens figurine signed by none other than the creator himself. So that must be Kojima. Um, try printing that with a chiral printer. The one you've got is pretty cool, but this, this is the national treasure. Legends has it that these Ludens figured prominently in one of the creator's games. Pre-stranding humans, homo sapiens, were obsessed with them, you know? It was through these works they reached the next level and became, hom became homo ludens. Apparently, what they played weren't games in the usual sense, but since there aren't any around anymore, we might never know what exactly that means. These ludens figures... They were symbols of one game in particular, and I guess you could say that by collecting these figures, I'm playing a game of my own. Man, that's weird. Um, told you all about those cranes. There's so many containers coming in and out of the distro center. It's a challenge just to get to the front door. We've been working really hard to increase our productivity. Um, okay. That's good. Pull together. I mean, I'm five stars with this dude, so that's good. Got bot deliveries. Okay, so things things are growing. I'm, I'm just going to summarize some of these longer ones, because we, we have like 16 emails to go through. Our own network's really shaping up. Why has he been making daily trips to the incinerator? It's weird. Guy you brought the blood for. Distro Center, South. No, North of Mountain Nut City. Oh, yeah, we brought the blood to the medical crew here. Yeah, at the Distro Center. Right. If you hadn't come through for me, I wouldn't be looking forward to working again or writing you now or here, period. I wanted to thank you face to face, but since I didn't know when I might get the chance, I thought I'd write you instead. I need you to know how grateful I am. I owe you my life. I'll never forget that. If you hadn't taken that order, your next might have been to haul my corpse to the incinerator instead. I'd be Ash and Kyralium in the wind by now, or worse, a BT. You've given me another chance, one I don't intend to waste. I'm assured I'll repay my debt by doing everything I can to help you rebuild America. Huh. Okay. You eating that... Crypto bio sends your hematic regenerations through the roof. Huh. Okay. Hide for the dead and the living. Uh, concerns with the sacred treasures. Found the burial chambers. Egyptian pyramids. Okay. The pyramids were in truth gateways to the beach. Egyptians knew everything that we know now about that mysterious realm. Quite possibly more, the Book of the Dead describes in detail how the soul leaves the physical body after death and also serves as a kind of guide for souls looking to find their way to the heavenly garden of the afterlife. In other words, those looking to find their way through the beach to what lies beyond. So you see, the beach was always with us. We simply lost knowledge of how to access and traverse it. Perhaps that's why BTs found their way through from the other side. None among the living possessed the knowledge to stop them, and perhaps if we can regain that knowledge... We can put an end to the Death Stranding once and for all. It's worth considering, don't you think? Hmm. And this is from the Spiritualist. <laughs> Higgs wants more pizza. Uh, network. Okay, this, this is the lady. She lives with the doctor. Oh, 
are marrying him. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know that. I didn't know that she married him. Yes. Does it make sense? Have you been using that high capacity blood bag? Yes, I did. Um, ordinary materials won't suffice. Requires chiralium. Okay. Pick some up if you have that chance. Okay. Could do that. So we can't replicate it elsewhere. I, w I was wondering why I wouldn't, wasn't able to build it. Alright, how many more do we have? Yikes. We, we do have quite a bit. Roboticists. Are humans all that important? Oh my god. Hmm. So she's for the end of the world stuff. <laughs> All right. Photographer's mother. Aw, she's thankful. You've done more for my family than you can ever know. It's a tremendous comfort to know that my husband didn't die in vain, especially since it seems his work was so important. My daughter has her heart set on doing even more, though. She says she's going to investigate further. Proud as I am, though, the thought of her putting herself in danger yet again is, well, let's just say I'm a little conflicted, but I expect a man like you to call that being selfish. Forgive me. The last thing you need is me burdening you with my worries. Be careful out there, you hear? Wow. Weird stuff in Dad's old photos. Okay. Listen, Sam, there's something I thought you should know. So the data you brought me from the Mountaineer used to belong to my father. I decided to stop taking trips outside because it stressed my mom out too much. So I started going through his old stuff instead. Turns out some of those pictures really are pretty or are pretty interesting. And pretty weird. There are a lot of pictures of the Mountain Knot City area, for example, from before the tar showed up and started spreading. And there's something really strange in some of those shots. Some kind of object, I guess. Something glowing. I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to go... I really want to go take a look myself. I couldn't do that to my mom. I guess you could check it out, though, if you're ever in the area. So where the tar is, I just need to go have a look, I guess. I don't know. A uh, twin sister. Oh, her twin sister must be the spiritualist. Yep, I was right. I was right. Okay. He's just... Making lots of matic grenades. Hmm. Forecast. Massive chiral spikes outside these BT zones. You also heard what Higgs managed to summon a BT or two. Fort Knox City. Good to meet you at last. Oh, this is from the first prepper. I should have been reading my emails, apparently. Good to see you the other day, Sam. You wouldn't believe how long I've been waiting to meet you. Thanks for the delivery, too. You know, I think it was over a decade ago when I first heard rumors about you. You're the most famous porter there is. Matter of fact, I'm kind of well-known myself. In the first, in the prepper world, that is. After all, my grandfather's grandfather's grandfather was living the shelter life back when most anybody knew what a shelter is. Was. Yeah, that's right. I'm a 7th gen prepper, one of the first prepper family, the originals, as it were. No, got that kind of pedigree pumping through their veins, me, myself, and nobody else. My shits contain more concentrated pepper, prepper wisdom than the rest of these amateurs will ever scrape together. 
Now don't get me wrong, I've got nothing against porters, but if you think I want anything to do with the so-called country, you've got another thing coming. I bet you feel the same sometimes, right? Well, how about it? How about ditching the bridges gig and joining up with us? Nah. So. You're the only one running around. Well, the film director wants to be part of the UCA. Alright. Those are bots. Let's get out of here and let's get started. We're just gonna hang out for a little bit. We'll do a few deliveries in the area. Alright. Xenonix. Revolutionary PlayStation system. That's funny. Oh, uh, we're not really going by the collector in this case. Those are heavy. Heavy orders. I'm going to do that. Skip that. do that.
Thomas Lamb. This is decaf, by the way. I'm, I'm not crazy. They really need to make a thing to disable this cutscene. It was only cool the first time. gonna go down there and deliver this. I wanna get a, a good relationship with you. Oh my god. Wrong way. Cosplayer. And we'll uh we'll come back up. you bringing me all this. You're too kind. Nice. Large grenade pack. Hmm. 
that thing. Yeah, the bots kind of suck. They're not really. I hope you'll come again. Good work. Let's do those. Deploying I'm the best. Aww. Let's get up there. Look at the map right away. Right on. Hey Genghis, how's it going bud? How have you been? Still going. 
give up. Oh, I'm starting to you're off track here. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing some, some deliveries out in this area. I'm really doing too much here and here. So I thought put this up while we look for other spots. Long day of work, oh man. Yeah. I feel you, it's, it's gonna feel like I'm living at work and this week and, and next week too. For a couple of days at least. But as, as usual, I just, just get into the grind and, and get it all done. Sleep, yeah. Delivering cargo. Uh, I just kept thinking about this game, and I was like, I really can't sleep if I don't. Always a pleasure, Sam. Here. Was it a rough trip this time? Always a rough nice trip. Slamming. We had a hunch you were about to arrive. And earlier we had a terrible time, just trying to trying to level that guy up. I did a quest for him, and then he didn't give me any connection level on the stars. A B? Garbage. Did that not fill in the star all the way? I... Oh, but before I forget, there's something we want you to have. This is weird. I guess they did, yeah. Because they just gave me a star. Alright. Take care of yourself, Sam. And come back again anytime. Yeah, you'll always be welcome here. Yeah, these two were scientists. They came here to study time fall. And then they ended up being farmers. So it's kind of, kind of a funny story for them. So, doesn't look like they have any. <gasps> they do. Unsensitive, old fashioned fresh bread. Okay, hang on. We'll do that. But I want to I wanna have a look around here first. Um, Friday's been good. It's, you know, it's been a good day. I mean, I'd, I'd say most of the day was spent playing this, but I had some uh, chicken enchilada soup. That was delicious. Um, hmm. I'm gonna keep that there, I guess. Um, yeah, and I watched a movie. I watched that uh, Tarantino flick, uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. That was pretty good. I enjoyed that. Hey, there's a shelter here. I might, I might wanna... Uh, See, let's see if I can find this. 
I want to have some assurances. Oh, right there. All right, let me. Yikes. Remove all the markers. Guess I can keep the car then. Alright, that's where I was going to explore. Because if I get m multiple quests, uh, that would be great. It may not work out that way. God, that's a long way from here to the um, to the first prepper. That's, that's going to be... Or, I mean, not the first prepper. Yeah, it's, it's been good. Uh, once upon a time in Hollywood, that movie with Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio it was pretty good. It was it was really different. The slow burn of a movie. It's not like Tarantino's other flicks that usually have cycles from one event to the next, and then usually the pace builds and tension and whatnot. It was a very, very slow burn. You know, I'm not opposed to. I'm, I'm one of those viewers that I, I like those slow burn movies because they, they hurt the most once they get going. Take you on an emotional ride. Hey, hey, fam! Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Playing some uh, Death Stranding. Trying to go way up here. I don't really think I need to take the truck all the way up here. But we'll do it. Do it. Oh. Okay. Yeah, the game does this. The game does this a lot. Where, where I'll be going straight, and then all of a sudden the truck will just like appear off to the side for no reason. Look, I'm 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 not even I'm not even going in the I'm not even not even going in the I'm really close to leaving this truck behind. Why is it wanting to go that way? Alright. getting left behind not sure why it wants to constantly pull to the right for no reason right of course, of course it starts raining here we go all right we're headed up here raining where I'm at, which is quite surprising. <laughs> Veteran Porter. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Fragile Express ID verified. Weapons. All weapons will be locked. Oh. And weapons restrictions lifted. Mm -hmm. I did start out with an Elgato. I'm using the internal one now, the HD60 Pro. But beforehand, I was using the HD60S, I believe it is, which is the external. And I'd, I'd plug that up to a laptop. Which I still have. Uh, just haven't really... Uh... That, the, 
external capture cards are notoriously unreliable. You have to do lots of plugging and unplugging and delivering cargo. After a while, it seemed like almost every day there was a technical Shadow issue. Porter Bridges. <gasps> it's a pleasure to finally meet you. I know who that is. Damn fine work. Shouldn't have to put that kind of burden on a porter, but you rose to the occasion. You've earned my respect, and I don't give that lightly. I know who that is. That's Sam freaking Lake. One of my favorite, favorite people in the video game industry. Sam Lake wrote Max Payne, Alan Wake, Control. He's he's in charge of stuff over at Remedy. So that's really cool that him and Kojima are are buddies. Case it ain't You'll see. He I'm looks. He's he's too. he was the character model was, for Max well, Payne in the first game. Health. Being what it is, I've they actually just to took his likeness because that's how low budget and quote, low budget the game and the villain soon. the woman was his mom the main villain of Max Payne was, was actually Sam Lake's mom it, it was funny yeah there's there's so many cool stars in this game oh man okay I'll tell you what, we'll take an order down to, um, yeah, and we'll go up to the weather station as well. Okay. We'll take an order down to the time fall thing, and, and we'll go from there. Ooh. Oh, 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 uh oh. Yeah, there's a lot of stars. He, yeah, he's got, he's got friends all over the place, but well, well deserved because I mean he's, he's earned his place, Kojima, in the in the gaming world and and even on actors and just other famous people and such, you know. Dang, I can hear it raining. Outside, louder than in the game. That's good. We're getting a good rainstorm here. Um, first aid kits. Load all that onto the vehicle. That on the tool rack. What's what's going on here? Okay. Uh, uh, survival game. Oh yeah, the Metal Gear. Oh yeah, Metal Gear Survive. I I tried. I tried to play the beta, and I was like, this is disgusting. Like I tried to like it. I I gave it. Gave it a fair chance. I knew it was gonna be shit because you can't have Metal Gear without Kojima. A no-brainer. You know, it's not Metal Gear without him. It just isn't. It's just a fact. 
Just come back. We all have to deal with it. But yeah, that was that was pure trash. I think I actually picked it up though recently. I actually bought it because it was like it was like two dollars or something. It was like it was on sale really cheap not too long ago. So I might actually give it like another chance, but you know just for fun. But yeah, when I when I got to play it in beta, I was like, this is like it's not even good from just like a a survival game stance like like e even if you just erase metal gear entirely and just forget all the all the preconceived notions we have you just try to play it as like oh hey this is a survival game let's check it out let's see what it's like all right like you'll still be disappointed like that's what hurt and i'm not a hater i usually don't hate on stuff no, I'd, I'd rather try to find positives even in something that you know everybody's hating on even if i don't like it i, I still try to find something and then maybe like find a way i can still enjoy it or something especially if i've already invested my money in there and they already have my money it's like i need to find a way to like it so we're not close enough okay it's really stupid I really can't did I just pick up an order for the paleontologist? Motherfucker. That's not happening. I thought it said the time fall farmer. No, nope, I'm ending that order right now. gonna happen yeah it's just one of the countless yeah like garbage zombie games that come out You're too far away, dude. That's not gonna happen. I can't believe I accidentally picked that up. Never done that before. What, I still have something? I don't still have materials or anything. I'll double check. In the weather station. All right. So now we have an order for the first prepper, and it's a time delivery, I believe. Um, so I'm literally just gonna take that. Old-fashioned fresh bread. Thirty-five minutes or sixty minutes. I think we can make it up there in thirty minutes. It's it's not that bad. Okay. Oh man. Order assigned. 
feel it. Delivery parameters five updated. minutes. Time limit set. Let's see what we can do. CCs do I have? One, two, three, four, five. Not really. Not really. This is what I want to try to do is from here go to the weather station. Draw a big freaking line all the way to my zip line. Now, you know what's going to be better? Go from there. There. Climbing anchor. Right? Oh no, not that one. That's that one. And we take my little zip line highway I've I've made here to make it easier for us to get to the first pepper. Yeah, we got this. Alright, so we won't need this car for much longer. Affecting. Generator. It's getting pretty rusty though. Thanks for 
coming. It means a lot. But seriously, what's your secret? And don't Dude. tell me it's tender love and care. Love. I mean, there's not even one single scratch. A secret. That's yeah. incredible. Sounds like it's enough to get us to five stars. No, definitely not. This guy's a stingy bugger. Well, actually, that wasn't bad. Underwear. Oh, not much. Here, I got you something. I got you something. Consider it an expression of my gratitude. I love you. <laughs> what? I'm putting that like right back in, I think. Good work. New order of it. Ooh, he has an order for the first prepper. is not good.
we back in the network or are we still out? No, we're still out. Guys, I, I think we're getting the Christmas Christmas hat. Santa Claus. 220. What? How many was that? Barely saw my likes. It was like 222,000. I don't know. You can't be taking breaks like every 10 seconds and like make this quest. At least it's not a blizzard at the moment. I am a genius. Greatest of my kind. <laughs> Patience is a virtue. I guess. Construction complete. Check this out. Sworn this was connected. That one. Yeah, I think I got some space, Sam. Um, I think I think I got enough room. You wanna get nuts? Let's get nuts. What? It might have been in range with something else. I don't know. Come on, let's get this show on the road. How are you doing tonight, Sam?
little bad for ease of use. Cargo. there. All the way to the first. He's got a bit of an ego too, this guy. This might be it. This might be it, guys. I'm, I'm bringing in a lot of cargo for this dude. So if he's not thankful, honestly, I, I got a place where you can shove it. The infamous hat, yeah. Uh, what is it? We're at the one hour mark. That's one hour on stream to, uh, for this evening. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Fragile express. Might be it. All weapons will remain locked until departure. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Indeed. That's two. That's two deliveries. Let's see what happens. Delivering cargo. They're not baby deliveries either. See how close I am to one star? Under four, I think. Yeah, 3600. ranking. Look at that stingy fuck. Oh, and now, now look at that. It goes up, it goes up to a full, full star on this one. This base media. This is meteorological data. This could save his life. But yet, look at this. Uni. Hmm. Delivery time was stellar, yeah. You can hook me up to the network, right? Just the network. Not much I'll accept. I didn't want to join the, the UCA. Your great new nation. Got it? That's what I expect from the first prepper. Doomsday guy, wary of having an oversight. Look at that, we got the mountain. So there's two, two areas? We got a contract with bridges. Well, let's see if this grand endeavor of yours is worth all the hassle. I've got my eye on you. Got something I thought you could use. Take mm -hmm. it if you want. Leave it if you don't. There it is. Only took us. Let me let me calculate. 
Let's see. How much are we talking about here? Four and a half. Nine and a half. Twelve. Half, just an hour, ten. I think I think we're looking at about seventeen hours. Of course, a lot of that was you know going in the wrong direction or whatever. But here here it is. I'm screenshotting that. I don't care. Doing that on Twitter. Doing that on Twitter. a stupid exclamation point. Thank you, Sam. Let's do this Ladies again. Spring. How much was the actual path? Um, New order about... Please access delivery terminal for further information. Eight hours of that. So it's still a lot of time, even knowing exactly what to do and where to go. Yeah, it's not great. And <laughs> Janie, how you doing today? Welcome to the stream. do I have in this game total? Let me see if I can look. Order I've got a lot. It's over 80. We've got a lot of hours in this game. I mean, I love this game. Like, there's there's nothing wrong about that, about how much time I've invested. It's it's all been worth it in, in my eyes. Um, I've always had a good time playing this game. Alright, let me drop that. Might show us right here. It really does. Yeah. So now we have a hundred and six hours and forty eight minutes. I've done over eight hundred and twenty eight pieces of cargo delivered. Four hundred and ninety two kilometers traveled. In me mental. Keep on keeping on. Weapons restrictions lifted. Begin weapons restrictions lifted. sound like a lot with the uh, with the metric system <laughs> like ah it doesn't sound like that much uh, no big deal deploying autonomous delivery bot uh, probably a good bit of it 
I mean, for, for most of the game, you you don't really get access to vehicles. It's, it's pretty late in the game. It's like maybe like half or more. So like probably half of those hours were were walked entirely, while the while the second half or less uh, were driven. I was able to utilize vehicles. But there's still large portions of the map that you literally can't access with vehicles. I mean, you can, but it would just be... It wouldn't be prudent for a, for a good delivery time and such. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take... Oh, I'm gonna leave. I think I have an extra gun on my back right now. Get out of here. Hello? Oh, no, I thought... I thought that was extra. Just need to be on the tool rack. Yeah, so a lot of it... A good chunk of that is walking. to say weapons restrictions lifted now we're gonna head back to the weather station Put on our Santa hat Should have bought a carrier. Now we'll be all right. No? Here. Oh no, it's there. There it is. Yeah, zip lines are the best way to get around in snowy areas. And other areas. Like, pretty much anywhere that they don't allow roads and there's, there's not a lot of options. You tripped over what? Nothing. Idiot. Oh, what do we have? I actually did the, uh, the snowboarding thing today. Got, we were joking about doing it. Uh, that's the baby probably. Yeah, the baby just stopped crying. Yeah, anytime you fall, you know, the baby gets shook. Shaken. Okay. I do have a clip here of... Uh, Yeah, I had to manually. Like. No. So the baby lets us see the, the BTs, which are basically the ghosts uh, in the game. So he's plugged up to our scanner. But yeah, that's that's our that's our snowboarding clip. We went from the top of the mountain, uh, where the first prepper is, and we snowboarded all the way down here. It was it was hilarious. I, I want to do it again now that we have the Santa hat, but not right now. 
We'll, we'll get to it soon. Thanks for the help. This one's for you. Uh, uh. Thanks for the help. Oh, wow, one life, and I give him like hundreds. This one's for you. That was gnarly, wasn't it? Yeah, dude. <laughs> it was so much fun. Could have gone better. You know how all my deliveries got, got crazy. And it fell off my back. That's a good screenshot. Yeah, given the game doesn't have like a proper photo mode. That's some of those. This game could really use a photo mode. Ooh, this this is not a good terrain. Oh. Oh, Kojima doesn't follow trends. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't see... I don't see why they wouldn't though. It's it's something they could patch in at any time. But yeah, I don't see why. Be a really missed opportunity. Oh man, so it won't let me Oh boy. Hang on. Let me get on that rock. Thank you. Nope. I'm pressing up, not down. I'm not risking it on this, this kind of slope. No thanks. Santa! I know we did it, dude. After after 17 hours, and it took us it took us like eight hours of knowing exactly what to do to get it done. So it's still not still not easy. If you want me to shed some light? I can. I want to keep it for the free. Do that as well. No spoilers, gotcha. Yeah, it's usually how I like to keep it around here. And so we, we also try to avoid uh, talking about spoilers, even if even if we, you know, like 
played a game or something, you're on stream, you know, we try to avoid talking about too much outside or like after we've done it, you know, like, cause you might, someone might just come and chat and be like, you know, and then all of a sudden we're dropping spoilers for, for this or for the last Jedi or something like, you never know what it'll be, right? Yeah, so I'm, I'm cautious. I'm mindful because I really don't I don't want stuff that I like to do. So naturally, the best way to do it is just to respect everybody. Damn tough. Delivering cargo. Delivering presents to the boys and girls. Possibly. I appreciate you going out of your way for us, Sam. You really are incredible. I don't know how you do it. I love it. Hmm. 2% damage more than they should have. The bot deliveries. Not really, not really all that worth it. Here's to you, Sam. And now Sam. That's true. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Spell. Okay. It's been updated. Also, uh, system, uh, here's the, here's the link right there. That's, uh, that's for the snowboarding clip. Where I, where I hopped on the carrier and rode it down the mountain. It was awesome. So cool. Need to clip, dude. Yes, clip that. That was so awesome. When you did the, uh... oh yeah, dude. No problem. Yeah, System Link came in uh, last night for a raid. Yeah, I was glad I was able to check out the stream and and see uh, throwing that Christmas tree around. That was pretty funny. I was like, I was like, that's someone at the door. Like, that's either like a wife or a girlfriend or like family or something. Because so I was like, he he's not opening the door because he doesn't want him to see that he's been he's been body slamming Christmas trees. <laughs> oh yikes! Okay, we might we might build a carrier. I wish I had known that. Was elected to to lead to read. Order assigned. Some metals. Uh, they live right next door and they heard me tackle the tree. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, dude, definitely clip the otter stuff. I my routine usually is when I finish the stream, I, I like to I like to, you know, get everything backed up, do all my clipping and highlights, because if I go to sleep, it's you know, it, it might get forgotten, you know? So I'm always, I'm always very cautious, very mindful of stuff like that. Better, better to get it done now. Yeah, you got two stream. Yeah, dude. Yeah, don't let it get behind. And if, if you have uh, either your Twitch dashboard up or uh, if you have a stream deck like I do, I can push a button and it'll create a marker in the stream or I can just outright clip but sometimes I'll just make a marker if I know I'm gonna have to edit it myself I'll just push that button and it automatically makes a marker on the stream but it's also in the in the twitch dashboard 
You can do that too uh, from there, which is great. Okay. Yeah, so I use uh, OBS Studio, just the plain old stuff. Um, I, I like Streamlabs OBS. It has a lot of really cool features built in. It's really nice. It, it gets you a slick looking stream. Um, but it, it ultimately, when I was playing certain games, it was munching up CPU. Like back when I played Anthem, it, it was using 98% CPU because I was running Anthem on Ultra. So I'm pushing my CPU pretty hard. But then Slobs was using like 35% CPU. While, you know, OBS over here uses like single digits, like maybe 8% at the most, like usually two or three. It just depends what I'm doing. But yeah, it was, it was monstrous. So I don't, I don't fault him for that. It's just not, it just wasn't great for everything. And I'm sure at some point, you know, it'll get optimized and... And things will work out even better in the future. So, you know, it'll be all right. It'll work out. So I got nothing. I got nothing bad to say. That's just my experience. Nothing bad to say about them. Because I love everything they do. I use Streamlabs uh, chatbot to run all the all the moderation, the giveaways, the uh, the points within the stream, the sound commands that we have. Delivering cargo. Um, all that stuff there I'm, I'm pretty much fully uh, streamlabs integrated at this point so all I really care to use and I highly recommend everything they have they've they've done a lot to make us make us get this far with the stream they've done a lot for a lot of people I'm sure um, okay so I think we're good to go Let's go ahead and thank you for your contribution Let me just do this. I want to mark which one I'm putting stuff in. But have they done as much as Coke Gaming? I have no idea. I don't know what's going on with them. They're like really, uh, really crazy. They're, they're going really hard with those, uh, commercials on Twitch. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was the last episode for the season, I believe. But yeah, I haven't, I haven't started Mandalorian at all, so... No spoilers on that one. Yeah, I haven't... I just haven't had time. I'm, I'm watching a lot of other stuff. And I'm trying to catch up on things. And I'm really enjoying just watching Clone Wars. So I'm probably going to hold off. At least for a little bit. I'm watching it. And, and everybody's like, have you watched The Witcher? And I was like, I don't really binge watch. So it's... I, I, gotta, I gotta slow burn everything. And I enjoy things a lot more uh, because I do that now. A new season of Clone Wars? Oh, dude, that'd be killer. That'd be killer. I'm, I'm loving that show. I'm loving every moment of it. Mm. Forgot this car was out here. Right. Coming out in 2020 sometime. I need a recap on the show because it's been a while. Yeah. Well, that's all the more reason for me to keep watching Clone Wars, then. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna watch Rebels because I've had some recommendations to watch Rebels. So I mean, heck yeah. I mean, I was gonna watch Rebels anyway, but you know, now that I have recommendation you know that's that, that to me gives me reason to uh fast track it. <sighs> a 
Hallo. Rebel seems too kitty. That's just my opinion. Yeah, fair enough. Um, does have some Clone Wars characters that come back. Yeah. And I'm all for, like, all the references towards, um, that, uh, Fallen Order, that I Fallen Order, the video game, has done. With, uh, Clone Wars and other series. So that's, that's a big reason why I was like, okay, I need to consume more Star Wars media, because I'm not really, I'm not really up to par on everything. Beginning so... That's some of the best lightsaber battles. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'll definitely, I'll definitely check it out. It's, it's gotta happen at this point. Let me claim. Let's do these 100 at a time. Oh my god, 4,500. No. I'll do that. Just for now. We can talk Star Wars for hours. We need to do Knights of the Old Republic stream. Dude, I was actually stealing my thunder. No, it's alright. Um, I'm actually thinking about doing that too sometime in the new year. Cause I, I was trying to think. I was like, I don't know if I... I'd have to turn on my original Xbox. But I was like, I don't, I don't remember if I beat that game. Or if I like... Maybe I just forgot. Because it's been a long time. But like... I was, I was starting to think, I was like, I really can't remember how that game ends, so I need to, uh, I need to do that. Another lesser known cartoon that was Clone Wars. Is that the 2D animated one? Because I think I remember that one, if that's, if that's the one. That was the 2D. But yeah, dude. All the Star Wars. I got a lot of friends that play the Old Republic and KOTOR and um, what's the other one. I I forget. Yeah, for free on YouTube. That's quite nice. Yeah, dude, go for the KOTOR stuff, man. It's two D animated, by, drawn by the guy. Yeah, see, that's why I thought that that art style look. Looked very familiar. Dude, speaking of, I, I need to finish Samurai Jack. I never saw when they brought the show back. I never watched it. So, like, I... And I, I don't think I kept up very much. Even when it was current. Um, but I always wanted to see that series through. That was a good show. I was, I was really invested in that show. So I would like to see how that goes. The original Clone Wars hand-drawn was before Revenge came out. Dang, dude. Okay, that's a while back. Two D Clone Wars had a great picture of General Grievous. He was actually scary. Then he became a joke. Yeah. 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 That's a better car. I know, I know what okay. you're saying. You're like, this is dumb, Aaron. But it's it's so much better. This is dumb, Aaron. Are you switching cars? Am I not close enough to the two cars? There it is. Okay. It was a way to show you how he developed the wheezing. I never referenced it in the movie. Okay. 
Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I'm I'm curious to learn more about him, so I, th I think that would be cool. I'd like to do that. Right on. Yeah, so officially, uh, I, I don't care if things are canon or not. I'll still watch them. I don't care. It's just more Star Wars stuff, you know? Not a... Not really a concern, for me at least. I'll, I'll let the fanboys, you know, argue it out. <laughs> but I'll... I'll, I'll just enjoy everything there is to see. Like, that, that's how I'm looking at Star Wars now. It's just like, man, I like science fiction. I like a lot of the stuff that's in Star Wars. I don't always, you know, don't always enjoy the prequels. But now I have a, a little bit of an appreciation. And I, I think I kind of sort of like them now. I, I can see myself watching them again. It's like, really, I just, to this... For like the past like decade, I just really didn't feel like watching prequels or, or Star Wars or anything. I was like totally soured on everything. So, the newer movies weren't straight rips, yeah. Yeah, they kind of feel like they took some, took some inspiration from like A New Hope. You know, Force Awakens was New Hope, Last Jedi, you know, kind of borrowed from Empire Strikes Back and... Then, as a Skywalker, I don't know. It seemed to really tie into Return of the Jedi pretty well, like, most story-wise. But, I mean, the Force always balances, so, I mean, it's... The, the plot is predictable from the beginning. That you always know if the, if the good guys are winning, then the Force is going to balance so that the bad guys can win some and, and vice versa. comic where Han and Chewie come to Earth and Han gets killed by Native Americans. It was in the early 17th century. Yikes. Yeah, I, I, I enjoy it. I, I'm just enjoying everything. And if I got I got little gripes here and there, but like most of the movies everyone hated, I'm like I don't see the problem. Like everybody hated Solo, everybody hated uh, um, Rogue One. Apparently, and I was like, oh, I think those were those were pretty killer. I mean, yeah, would I like a Solo movie where Harrison Ford is Solo? Sure, but I mean. <laughs> Can't really, I mean, unless you just do one of those de-aging movies like they do with the Avengers and stuff, you know. Can't really, can't really get away with that for everything. Fans like Rogue One. Yeah, I just, I, I just always hear that everyone hates those. But then again, you know, how, how do we base that? We base that off of our friend circle and whatever we see on Twitter or Facebook or whatever. What we encounter. I, I love how it tumbled there just so I could damage everything. I think it's the best received Disney movie so far. Yeah. Hmm. And I know IGN is like slamming Rise of Skywalker pretty hard. They like. They're just trying to make nobody want to go see it. And I'm like, why are you guys like this? Like, what, who, who hurt you, IGN? Who hurt you and turned you into this monster? I know, dude. That's how I feel, dude. They just, they bash on everything I like. Even if I don't like it that much, or if I love something, though. I don't know how you do it. Like... It's okay if you don't like Rise of Skywalker. That's your opinion. But to say that it's doing bad when it's 
obviously everybody's gonna go see it because everyone wants to see for themselves if it's trash right so like you're not really i i don't i think i just read their stuff and i'm just like i just maybe i just read it to get disappointed yeah, they just, they hate on everything. The only thing they got right was Control as Game of the Year. I was like, yeah, Control. Control is my Game of the Year, so I loved it. Their opinions can be bought. Yeah, I think you can see why, like, the Call of Duty games get, like, 10 out of 10 every year. I'm like, whoa, 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 what kind of scale are we grading on here? But then they, but then they go along and give, like, Death Stranding, like, low-ass ratings and stuff. And this game's, you know, okay. Masterpiece ish. I got a few qualms with this game, but I mean, obviously, the 107 hours played you know, speaks for itself. A lot of their videos get a lot of dislikes. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah. Oh, but before I forget, there's something we want you to have. It's, it's hard to have objective journalism when it's monetized. And you can tell, um, especially when I'm on their mobile site, when I'm scrolling, like, let's say I'm looking at a walkthrough, a little wiki or whatever, looking for tips on a game. I'm scrolling, and it's it's just literally a giant ad after ad after ad. It's literally all ads. And then, like, the ad will go away, and then you'll see, like, a short blurb, and then you'll keep scrolling, and then there's an ad... So it's almost like the ad is overlaid over everything and you just have to keep scrolling to get to the area where there's not an ad. Like the ad stays tracked on the screen and it sucks and it's dumb and that's why I'm pretty much going to quit quit using their site altogether. Like even even just because they're so well known, I I don't want rather just go to other sites. Cause I just, I really don't like seeing their, their stuff. Yeah, like actually, I actually really like Modern Warfare this year. But like, it, it, it Call of Duty is just known for returning the same stuff, you know, and much like a, a sports game, you know. It's just different players, same, same looks, you know, they don't really do all that stuff. They just kind of copy and paste everything every year is how it how it feels. The website has a list and each item is on a separate page. Complex is guilty of that. I used to read Kotaku religiously. Yeah, um... I think... Wasn't Kotaku... I think Kotaku was the website that actually cracked the whole, um... Uh, Riot Games thing. Which, if you haven't read... I believe it was them... And if you haven't read the uh, Riot Games article on how they were um, toxicity, not only in their games like League of Legends and stuff, but that toxicity within the studio and towards women, it 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 was a nasty like, not really a takedown piece, but I mean it more or less it was like, hey, we we cracked the case on you guys and. You know, we're, we're making all this stuff public. And it's not pretty. Cracked used to be good and then it turned... Yeah, like everybody goes clickbait at some point, you know? Oh, yikes. What do, what do I even... I never use resin. What do we use resin for? I don't know. Take care of Building. yourself, Sam. And come back again anytime. Yeah, awesome. You'll always be welcome here. You're always welcome here. Good work. New order. Always welcome here. Yeah, man, it's 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 difficult. Speed skeleton. That's in storage. Um, The weather station. Uh, the 
was that to the... I'll do that. I'll do that, because I think we can just take a path over the mountains, and I'd, I'd really like to be in charge of creating that. It's not already there. Two of those. So, we don't need that. Yeah, I think we're good. go see Sam Lake, which is like totally now my favorite character in the game. I'm so blown away that he's here. Go see him. Oops, sorry. Um... draw another line. Yeah, yeah. Kotaku. See, I saw a freaking memory chip. Dude, I swear I saw that. And then I looked again. I was like, I don't see it. Where is it? Oh, it's up. What? Keep on keeping on. It's on the roof? Oh, oh we cracking a cold one. Good the boy, that. Ah. Is that what you're doing? Cracking a cold one with the boys. Looks like there might be a mountain pass up behind the, uh, the veteran quarter. That wasn't Sam Lake's real voice, I don't think. I'm pretty sure, because he's got a very strong, uh, like, Finnish accent. Impersonations, and maybe I don't know. You know, like, doing a pretty good, like, standard American country looking dude. Come at me, see what happens. Network. 
Yeah, there it is. Oh, because I haven't done anything for the collector. Are these... Are those areas? No. Okay, so we do the veteran porter. And then I need to come back and see about the collector. Okay, and we're going to get a little bit of rain. Yeah, once you get the ability to see the weather, the... It's incredibly helpful at times. This guy, I wonder what you get for Sam Lake. I don't even want to look it up. Wow. Delivering cargo. Howdy, Sam. Jim sure does deliver, huh? Cargo's in damn near perfect condition. How you got it here looking like that, I surely do not know. He sounds like Liam Neeson or something. I don't know. That's, that's a funny voice. <laughs> I do declare. I say, I say, I see a package at my door. <laughs> I've almost maxed out the star. Once the star is entirely blue, you're you're done. But delivery time, you see, I've I've been making good deliveries on time and and fast. Take care, Sam. I think zip lines are the way to make it happen, though. Good work. New order available. Please. Charcoal for use in pizza oven. Presents and ceramics. How's our relationship with the geologist? Kind of a, and I, I'm not gonna do it. It's, it's a little ways out. I'd rather be direct. Well, Genghis, man, thank you for hanging out, man. Have a good night. And uh, I'll, I'll show you a DM on Discord. We'll get that stuff going. Um, you might as well build them everywhere. Yeah, pretty much, dude. Like, because I. I think that's the fastest way to get around. All the times I've gotten, like, any time I've, like, leveled up a thing fully in one delivery, it was when I was using that. So, it's, it's key, for sure. It is key. Alright, we're gonna try to keep the truck. I don't know if we can. Weapons restrictions lifted. Scanning bridges ID. 
Fragile Express ID verified. Weapons detected. All web weapons restrictions selected. Begin the scan. Scanning bridges ID. Fragile there. Express ID verified. See, that looks smooth. Should be alright. This is what annoys me about uh, this game. My cars get stuck like driving sideways for some reason. Like even though I'm turning the wheel, just will not. And and like I'll be going straight forward like this, and then all of a sudden the car will just like swerve off to the right for no reason or the left either way. Okay, we got a zip line up there. Why why wouldn't anyone Oh, it's far away. Oh, this player has a Max Payne Max Payne 3 uh gamer picture. That's cool. I'm a big fan of Max Payne 3. I'm a big fan of all Max Payne games. Take the car this time, but I'm just I'm thinking about the future. Yeah, the driving mechanics are kind of rough. Then again, you know, Kojima's not known for driving. You know, this is only you know this engine seems to run. Sleeve like how uh, Phantom Pain did. Seems to be quite similar in some way. So the gameplay seems to reflect that similar feel. So it's not it's not like terrible, but it's not great either. No. Really? I hope they didn't make this thin so I can't. Are encouraging. Yeah. Damage the hell out of this delivery. Is that the geologist down there? Or I mean the paleontologist.
see you safe and sound. I want a Bridges hoodie. Wow, can't say I was expecting such a sizable delivery. I'd have to slide a few things around. That not that I might. Right, don't let me hear you complain, dude. Okay, 1% damage, that's, that's fair. It definitely looked like I did more damage than that. Delivery volume. Here, this is for you. Oh, uh, what time we got here? Like yeah. Hey, you guys are just giving me resources. I mean, where were you guys when I actually needed this crap? Like, I don't need it now I'll in the end sure game. You again. Not, not, not so much. Good work. Paleontologist, geologist. I'm not going to the Evo Devo. Um, I'll do that. fun driving out of here is going to be. I'll tell you that. Check base food stuff. Well, that does not sound good to me. Yeah, I'd like to actually come back to this area. I know we're going to have to level all these people up, but I, I literally pretty much skipped this ending area to go to the end game and just like keep the story. I skipped a lot of maneuvering around here, but I'm glad to come back here. Yep, hitting every street. Wait, what is this? Oh, this is an alternate, smoother way around. Ha ha ha. Look at that, we would, we would find a better way, wouldn't we? Well, I say that. This could work. Like, I need the boost to get up the hill. Okay, alright, we're safe. I could go left. And it's basically that. Yeah, they have a lot of yeah, they have a lot of walls, yeah, I noticed that. But we're in the Cairo network now. Yeah, uh, it turns out, like, like a lot of steep mountains. Like, I noticed, like, right here, I was trying to go over the mountain right here in this area, and it was, like, eventually it was just so steep that it was impossible. And then when I actually managed to make it past some of the parts that are too steep, there was an invisible wall preventing me. I just 
want to go up the hill straight. That, that's too much to ask. This is not how real vehicles handle the snow. They, they don't just go in the wrong direction. Uh, yeah, we're gonna run out of battery. I'm gonna build a generator somewhere. put it in the wrong one. You make the slow walk all the way up there. No shortcuts. Stacks to get in the area.
see if this zip line connects to anything or if this asshole just did my number one pet peeve and just built uh, a zip line with no destination. And that, that's what it is, though. I'm sure that's how people like to do it. Wait, I built it? Oh, no, that's right. Okay, that's the one I built. It goes off that way. Oh, and that one connects to that one. Okay. So, actually... So, actually... Carry it all on my back. Now we're walking. Water here. Hope they're not too damaged. So the old ones are just broken. Try to take a shortcut. <clears throat> Point of an all-terrain skeleton that doesn't really help. Oh, this is the power one. thing, dude? Ow. Oh, and I still have to get over the next cliff. I'm not there yet. 
Things are they're degrading. down this will be all right Gonna make this last delivery and then uh, we'll call it a night. Um, we might be on tomorrow. Sam Bridges. Well, Good to see yeah. you. Uh, cause uh, I know we want to start working in some other games again. Uh, not that I'm pinning this on you, but you've seen the condition of your cargo, right? Yeah, you've seen the shithole place where you live, right? Yeah, one of them got completely destroyed, so. Hey, I'm just thankful we're at three stars. I'll I'll take that as well. That was a terrible. Well, if you'll excuse me. Yeah. Be back and like that. Good work. Beat the Good heck out of ya. I'll take stuff to the veteran.
try it. Pretending it's not steep enough. Alright. See, we're gonna be we're gonna be fine in a second. rock in all of the world. of these boots if they don't even work. Flat green. girl how's it going hope you're having a good night hey, many porters doing well we got our santa sides. hat wonder if it's all that bridges issue gear that makes a difference exactly it is one star 82 Sam. <laughs> Good work. All right, New water available. No deliveries. I'm going to do this. Thank you. 
do that. You just woke up at 3.43 and I can't get back to sleep. Oh, man. I'm, I'm about to call it here pretty soon. I, I, I want to get an early night in. And this is what I call an early night. Yeah, I, I, I feel you. It, it takes a while for me to get to sleep. And to get back to sleep. Weapons restrictions lifted. First. See if we can make it. I want to see if we can slide all the way. What? Where? Where are you going? Oh my God! Whatever. Uh, see how long this momentum goes. Cool. Lots of other streamers on. That's good. Did not last nearly as long. That did not last nearly as long as I thought it would. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna just make this last delivery here. And I think that's a good place to stop. We really this game pretty hard uh, this week, and so we'll we'll be mixing up some of the content uh, after this. But I I was just like really determined to get the scent at. In a sense, it might have been worth it. But, uh, really. It, it got disconnected. Like, no reason. So it took us about 17 hours to get the Santa hat. About eight of those were actually, you know, properly working towards that. Take the fucking corner here. There, not that difficult. Jeez, that's insane. Always a pleasure, Sam. Was it a rough trip this time? When isn't it? seems to be in pretty good shape. Nice. Nothing on delivery time. Oh, uh, before I forget, there's something we want you to have. Ooh, more material. 
feels great. Cycle those blood bags. I think we're good on that. Okay. Go ahead and skip that. Number one. Thank you for your continued support. We're seeing a hand. Save. Boom. We're done. Uh, let's see. Close that down. PS4 in rest mode. Working it pretty hard these past couple of days. Um, let's take a look here. Hello? My TVs are being weird. PS4 just doesn't like to switch back. Um, and we're not working here. One second. There we go. Now we're now we're connected. Back in PC land. Um, let's see, let's see if it's on. Oh good, our buddy uh, Silent Blade is on. So let's head that way. Should be a dude. Let's see. 
get our raid. Our raid message going right there. Well, thank you guys for hanging out. We finally reached the conclusion of the Santa Hat quest in Death Stranding. Um, it was worth it, but you know, it's. It was worth it. It was troublesome, but it it was a journey, and we uh, we went through it together, and I had a good time, and it was memorable. Uh, so that much, uh, it'll be worth it. Hopefully, I can go to sleep with, with good rest. Um, we might be live tomorrow. Typically, Saturday's a day off for me. And we just kind of ad lib it. Stream times are TBA, content TBA. Um, and Sunday, I usually like to take a break as well. But, you know, some of these last couple of weeks here, you know, I've been just like, uh, you know, I don't have anything to do tonight. Or, you know, I'm all rested up. I could I could play some games for a bit. So uh, just stay tuned and uh, keep your eye on Twitter and Discord. Um, we'll... Uh, talk more about the end of the year recap um it might have to move from its currently scheduled day of december 31st it might have to be already into the new year which is fine we've done it that way before but uh yeah we might just uh see what works best and i just kind of need to wait until the time comes to like really know what that day is going to be like what my schedule is going to be like and uh i want to make sure we're we're fully clear to uh, have a good stream on that day. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you guys have a great night. We're going to raid my good friend Silent Blade, who's playing some Mass Effect 3. So I hope you guys have a great night, and we'll see you next time. Bye.